Shabbat Shalom. In this Porsche, being has a one of the first things that comes out is the uh, jealousy of uh, being has through to make sure that everything for uh, Hashem's uh, Avodah is is right. Uh, and that's something that we all have to do. We all have to be jealous of uh, how we perform Avodah Hashem. Because uh, I always said it, this is not just Ruben's and mine's house. This right now is the uh, is our own temple. And we also got to be acting according, according to. And uh, we see that um, Bihas got rewarded for it. Yes, there is a lot of, um, how can I say it, uh, interpretations of that, uh, that what he did was wrong. No, he did what he was right. And he was so right that uh, it saves more, uh, more of his uh, brothers from all the uh, 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 in Israel. Before he did that, 24,000 died. Okay, and another thing that comes out is that uh, he says on the, he says that uh, Simbri was taking a, 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 a woman, midnight in front of uh, Aaron, uh, Moshe's Aaron and the elders. I mean, that means that the elders, they, and Moshe did not do anything. Aaron did not do anything. The elders that didn't do anything. So that's why I guess on his mind was said something has to be done, but this cannot be happening. Yeah, it was it was uh, hard. Yes, I'm pretty sure for him it was that easy, but it's the right thing. So sometimes doing a hard thing, you know, talking to somebody about things that they might not like it, it is hard, but it is it is the responsible is the responsible uh, thing to do. In in what I'm saying about the uh, uh, right now we don't have the uh, uh, the temple, so we have to follow. We have to follow the uh, what the sages uh, have come out. The way we do the, uh, the the service, like the way we do it, the service right now, it has a certain order, and we have to come up with that. We cannot be implement and we got uh saying okay now today i feel like this is going to be this way no he, he even in the desert he tells the uh, the israelites how the uh about that should be performed he's telling them to take one lamb that you should offer in the morning and one lamb you should offer in the afternoon and he talk about the wine he talk about all those things those are his uh his commandments, and we got to do just exactly what he says, that the same way of uh, thinking is the way we should be uh, acting. Now, when it comes to the uh, the uh, daughters of uh, Selofehad, and uh, there is a great, uh, it's a great teachings in, in here, because it's not that they got the, uh, the land that they were, that they, they should, uh, that is, there was the right, okay, it's not only that, it's the fact that uh, Hashem was uh, doing the, the just, what it was just uh, for him, they, and he said, they are right, so he did justice to them, but it, does, it's, it doesn't stop right there, it means that the woman is, given the the, uh, the same rights as uh, as men okay there's some rights uh, as as men and uh, that that's why we have uh Deborah which was uh, uh, a uh, what was the title uh, a judge exactly thank you so uh, so do you we see that a uh, woman has the same the same right and also the same uh, uh, Duties, duties, you know, uh, I'm going to say something. I don't know if this is going to be a controversy, but uh, some women uh, like to use the talit. Well, if we go by the law, 
the law doesn't say that they cannot. Only, only that it's been a la uh, that uh, uh, that they they should not use they should not uh, use a talit, you know. But that's something on their own. But on the way, uh, uh, the way it's been taken uh, or it's been used now is like a way of uh, like emancip emancipation. I mean, like, okay, now I'm a woman, I can stand by myself, and I can wear it as a lead. But then on the other hand, men, men are going to think, well, am I supposed to uh, cover you with my talit? And you're already talit, that means you're going to take care of yourself. So uh, it, it, it brings responsibility. But, on, but like I said, uh, uh, Hashem does recognize that the uh, a woman has rights, has rights, it's the same rights, as, uh, as men, what they have to do is use it wisely. That's my opinion.